Not too long ago, I asked you guys a question. What is the easiest server to play on in World of Tanks Blitz? And the overwhelming majority said that the NA server is the easiest server to play on. However, can we prove that in a way that it makes sense? Because I personally also think that the NA server is incredibly easy compared to the EU. However, is there a way that we can actually decisively prove that that is the reality? Well, that's what we're going to find out in this video, so let's go. We all know that the EU server is by far the biggest server that is still remaining within the game of World of Tanks Blitz. And now let's assume that these Blitz Stars numbers right here are accurate. Then we can see an average of 14,000 players for the EU server, but only around 2,500 for NA and Asia, which is only 15% of the player base on Asia and NA each. It's not really great. That means that also 70% of all World of Tanks Blitz players are on the EU server. And that already poses our first problem, and that is comparison size. Comparing a very large amount of data to a relatively small amount of data can often lead to incorrect results, because simply a data set is only as good as the data that's in it. And especially in a game like World of Tanks Blitz, where there are a lot of things that are essentially just random, it is very difficult to actually compare two sets of statistics with each other unless they're essentially created identically. For example, let's look at tanks as a comparison here. If we have two vehicles that have the same win rate, does that mean that they are equally as good? Well, no, it, it doesn't mean that whatsoever. Because, for example, if one tank has 20 players, the other one has 2,000 players, you can't compare the data. If one tank is a premium tank and the other one is a tech tree tank, the tech tree tank has to be played stock, has to be played with stock crew, which means, again, you can't directly compare the data. And then even among premium tanks, some premium tanks are only available in crates, some premium tanks have been given away for free, that also plays a factor into how valid the statistics are for the vehicles and the same is true for the players as well because then you even have the added human element on top of that the one big problem here is the element of time obviously if you compare two different servers with each other then it has to be made sure you play at different times because if you play at 3 a.m then obviously it is going to be a lot easier to do really well than it is playing at prime time and obviously because of time zones while on one server, you might be facing incredibly easy matchmaking because on the server it's currently 3 a.m. When you switch to the other server, it is currently prime time and you have to face a lot stronger opponents. So that is also another very important factor that have to be put in to looking at the differences between servers. So essentially, I'm just boring you with boring with statistics, but that's just kind of how statistics work. You cannot ever look at the numbers alone. You always have to look at the context of how they have been created. If you only look at the numbers themselves, what you essentially gain in value is uh, nothing. And most of the time, you're actually being misled in a wrong direction. So to assure that we can actually compare the EU server with the NA server, what has to happen is there has to be a common denominator, something that is equal beyond both of the servers. Now, what I can do, because I'm playing on both servers, is I can make myself equal on both of those servers. If I perform the same on both servers, then the limiting factor isn't the players around me or the RNG. If I do the same damage, then the limiting factor are the players around me that determine how good that value actually is in a wider context. And that is exactly what I have done. I have played the specific average damage and then compared the WNAs with each other. Which means that also the noob matchmaking doesn't make a difference because as you can very clearly see, it is incredibly easy to play well in noob matchmaking. So eliminated all of that, gone down to one specific factor and that is the average damage. Let's have a look at how it went. Now, the way WNH really works, it is eight different factors like damage, win rate, all of those kind of things that do match together into one number and the end. That can be compared across the same vehicle. It cannot be compared across different vehicles because the players playing the vehicle determine how good a value tends to be, which means that the average player plays a tank a lot worse than 3,000 average damage 
will result in much higher W8 on one vehicle than the exact same damage on another vehicle, which is why it also doesn't make sense to compare players with each other by W8 because they play different vehicles, and simply by playing high W8 vehicles, you can get very easy statistics. So here's the thing. Here is my numbers, 2,800 average damage on the EU server at the top, and 2,856 on average at the bottom. That is a 1.8% difference in favor of NA. I also have 13% less win rate on the NA server than I have in EU. However, 8.2% higher W8 for my NA server result for only 1.8% more damage. So that does suggest a slight easier matchmaking on NA if obviously this data is to be trusted now if you want to repeat this this thing yourself then I obviously highly encourage you to do that because the more data we have the better it is but what I found here it does somewhat suggest that the average NA player is slightly lower skilled than the EU player but by such a margin it's an 8% difference there still are variances between the vehicles but at an 8% difference, I think we're just outside the margin of error here. If it'd be a 3-4% difference, it obviously wouldn't really say anything, but 8% I think is enough to conclude. We did find some numbers. There is evidence that NA might be somewhat easier, but because of the still relatively small data set, it isn't entirely conclusive. But if you want to try the experiment yourself and add some more data to this experiment, then please do. Now, I don't really quite know what the point of that was, but it does show one thing, is that the numbers aren't exactly as precise as a majority of people think they are. Minor differences like this, 8%, it might indicate a certain drift in a direction, but it isn't really that massive of a difference anyway. So overall, is the NA server easier to play than the EU server? Well, probably. And it also depends on a subjective opinion, especially if you have a different playstyle. Because from my own observation, the NA server players are a lot more, let's say, submissive than the EU server players, where there is a lot more camping, there is a lot more inaction going on, which means if you are an active player that controls the battlefield, it is much easier to farm players, whereas in EU, the playstyle is a lot more in your face, a lot more aggressive. So essentially, that can also come down to some people just simply thinking one is easier than the other because it, they are more used to how the matchmaker works. But because we have the numbers now, Unless someone proves it wrong, and I do hope that someone does, because that's how it works. If you don't want to be proven wrong, then don't say anything. So, until someone proves it wrong, the NA server is now officially easier to play on than the EU server. And with that, thank you very much for watching, and see you in the next one. Goodbye.